up everyone welcome back to the highly anticipated sequel to the first part of my collection dump video so if you guys didn't see that video uh, i ended up with a whole lot of 30s and 40s jeffersons and uh quite a few rolls of old bu nickels so that was pretty awesome if you haven't seen that video definitely check it out but I was able to snag the pennies after I saw a lot of those rolls were marked with older dates for the nickels. I had to go back and get the pennies as well. So after cracking a few of the rolls in the parking lot of the bank, I could see that uh, we had some nice old coppers in here. And I did see one wheat penny, so there is a potential for some more of those. So I'm going to get going on these and I will show you guys what I will find. So the first roll I believe is going to be from that collection dump. And it's going to be entirely copper, I'm thinking. I don't see any zinc in here. These newer looking ones are just uh, BU from the 60s and 70s and such. Um, so I don't see any wheats or anything too crazy, but I'm going to go through these. I'm definitely going to pull aside the dates that have potential for DDOs, RPMs, all that kind of stuff. And I'll be scoping those. And I will let you guys know if I find anything notable in those at the end of the video looks like roll number two is going to be all 1960d and that's actually pretty promising because 60d has an rpm that's uh pretty well known so i'm definitely going to be taking this roll and scoping all of these coins just to see if i have that rpm um but that's pretty cool i'm hoping there's rolls of uh i guess not all of them are going to be 60d but it looks like the majority are Anyway, I'm going to be uh, scoping these ones, and uh, hopefully there's some good errors in here. I don't know if this is going to be a collection dump roll, just because there's a bit of zinc in this one. But we are going to have our first wheat penny. This one is a 46 Philadelphia, a little bit beat up, but I'm happy to be on the board with the wheat. I'm hoping one of these collection dump rolls will have some too. Right behind that wheat is a beautiful 59. Um, I'm probably going to be holding on to that one. That is a really nice one. Who knows, maybe this is part of the uh, collection dump. So roll three was another collection dump roll. And I can tell you that because there is no zinc in this roll at all. I've already looked through all the dates. Um, I think the newest date may have been 1980. Yep, that is going to be the newest date. And I pulled another really nice 59 out of there. I also pulled a side of 72. I'm going to go ahead and scope those for DDOs at the end of the video. But, um... I'm liking this so far. So I'm going to have Wheat Penny 2 in the next roll. It's a 57D. I think this is the one that I saw um, in the car when I was just checking through a couple rolls. So that's the second Wheat Penny. Uh, we got a couple more keepers, 59D in pretty nice shape, just like those other ones. And a really, really nice 64D. And as usual, we got a full roll of copper. You can see there's some other blazers in there. Um, but hopefully we can keep these wheats coming and, uh, I would love to find like a DDO or an RPM. RPM is a repunched mint mark just for my viewers that don't know. And, uh, you know, the early sixties had quite a few of those. So I'm going to be on the lookout for those for sure. Well, we're on fire on this penny, uh, batch here, uh, all copper again in the next roll. And I pulled some really nice gems out of here. Uh, most of those are 64 D's. I got another 64 up there. Those are some blazers for sure. Um, so that's awesome. You guys always want to keep your uh, copper pennies if you didn't know already. Uh, it's worth about three times as much as a normal penny. Three cents in scrap copper. Uh, these are about 80% copper and the more modern ones have uh, barely any. It's just a thin plating on the uh, top. So definitely worth holding on to. I'm going to be keeping these rolls for sure. Well, every roll that's looked like this so far has uh, produced all copper. We got another roll full of uh, pure copper and added a couple more nice 64s to the pile. I don't know why the 64s are some of the nicer ones in here. You can see some nicer 70s and 80s, but uh, definitely setting the older ones aside. So hopefully we can keep at it. I see quite a few more rolls that look like that. Um, and hopefully we got more wheats coming soon. Check out that ender on the next roll. That is a beautiful coin. I'm going to dump this one out. Definitely will be pulling this one aside, but I'll show you guys if I get anything else good. All right, I definitely wasn't expecting this. I was expecting all copper because it's uh, pretty common for this uh, collection dump, but I wasn't expecting this many uh, 
really nice 60s pennies. I'm gonna be pulling all of these aside here. This is crazy. Look at this one. This is an unbelievable collection dump. And I am seeing a lot of uh, 60 Ds in here as well, so those are gonna go under the scope. But um, I'm gonna go through these, and if there's any wheats or anything crazy, I will let you guys know. Well, my pile of nice uh, 60s nickels is probably like quadrupled in size after that roll. A lot of nice ones in here, and there's some pretty cool toners too, as you guys can see right there with that 61D. Other 61D is pretty cool looking too. Um, so I think we're going to have a lot more good finds to come. We are barely into these uh, pennies here. And I think we're going to have a lot of pure copper rolls. We're going to have all copper in the next roll as well, adding some nice ones to that pile there. But we're going to have wheat number three. I'm not expecting it to be super old, but we'll see here. And that's a 39. That's pretty sharp for a 30s uh, wheat penny. Man, you never know what you're going to find in these kind of rolls. That's crazy. So we got the next roll here, and as you guys can see, uh, it does have some zinc, but uh, looks like it's mostly copper. So I think what happened is uh, this person was dumping all their copper scents, and they just threw in some zincs where they, you know, didn't have enough copper. So I'm going to look through this one, and we'll see if we got any keepers. And right off the bat, we're going to have another wheat penny, 1945. And I see a 59 right here, so uh, there might be some other nice ones in here. Just look real quick, see if we can see anything. And I'm, I'm pretty sure this is going to be part of that same collection dump. There's like too many uh, older 60s pennies that normally you wouldn't see. So that's pretty sweet. Look at how nice this next roll is, guys. We've got like all red pennies here, all copper. Um, I don't know if there will be any wheats or not i'm gonna have to look through it but uh and like the 72 if that was a ddo that would be a crazy find. i'm gonna put that one aside so we can scope it um but i'm gonna probably leave the majority of these in the roll just leave them as they are um after i scope these ones up here i'll probably put them back but those are some beautiful pennies looks like i've got another one of those rolls here that uh it's primarily copper, but it's got some zincs, and uh, I'll pop some other penny right off the bat. So set these down, and we got a 51, so that makes five wheat pennies. And I'll look through here and see if we got any other keepers. I had to crack out the tripod for this one. I'm seeing a wheat on either side. I got a 40s here. Don't know what's here. I am really excited. I've never found a full roll of wheat pennies coin roll hunting, and I probably haven't found more than like one or two in a roll. Yeah, I think we're gonna have all wheats, guys. Focus on those for you guys real quick. Oh yeah, definitely all wheats, and I'm seeing some older ones. Zoom out a little bit. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go through these live. This is amazing. I'm gonna get all of them in my hand so I can go through the dates with you guys. Oh my God, I'm seeing some old looking wheat pennies in here. I'm sure it's gonna be primarily 40s and 50s, but this is incredible. All right, let's go through these dates. We got a 46D, well, that one looks pretty worn. Wow, 1920. 1940, 57D, 57D, 56, 50, 60, 50, 60, 1940, 50, 70, 50, 70, 45, 50, 60, 55D. That one might be a little bit older too. Wow, 20 S. I'm gonna have to check the mintage on that. That might be a better date. That's crazy, guys. It's so hard to find a 20s or a teens wheat penny with a mint mark, especially an S. I'm definitely checking the red book for that. So I'll put that one aside. Uh, this is a 57D, 53D. There's a 36. Wow, these are some older ones right here. This one looks pretty dang old. 
Is that a looks like a 29 on that one? 27. Wow, this is incredible. 57D. Holy crap. 1945, 57D, 42S, 35, another 30s. Wow. 42. That's another old one right there. 23. Wow, 1918, breaking into the teens. And we got a 35, a 35S, oh my God. I'm putting some of these estimate marks aside. I, I gotta check the minages on those. 51D, 41D, 46, 40, 45, 58D. That's a nice looking 46, wow. That might go on a flip. I don't know if I've seen a 40s nickel come out of a roll ever looking that, that good. I'll put that one to the side with the uh, potential better dates. 40S, 58, 40S, 57D, 57D. Wow, that's a blazer right there. I'm gonna put that one aside as well. 57D, 1920, there's another old one. Wow. 44, 42D, 36, and 47D. Wow, I cannot believe that, guys. I, I you know, I buy unsearched, uh, so-called unsearched uh, wheat penny rolls from antique shops and stuff, but you know somebody's been through those at some point. And with coins like these coming out, I don't know, guys. I'm, I know somebody's been through it at one point, but uh, these are some nice wheat pennies for a roll like that. So uh, I'm going to pull up the red book and I'll see if either of these are anything decent. And uh, hopefully I can get on another wheat penny roll. That was like a dream come true. I cannot believe I found those. Just wanted to give you guys an update. Uh, neither of those dates are rare. The 35S or the 20S. Um, I knew they weren't semi keys, but I was uh, questioning if they might be better dates. But they're not going to be, but... Still an unbelievable find. If I could find one more wheat penny roll, oh my god, I, I, I couldn't even imagine. Well, the wheat pennies aren't done given yet. I got another one of those rolls that's uh, primarily copper. And I'm pretty sure it's the same person because I'm finding like 60s pennies, like pretty much every coin. We got a 47 here. Uh, it's going to be another wheat. Would be a lot more exciting if I didn't just find a whole roll of wheat pennies, but uh. I'll bring you guys back if I find anything else good in this roll. Same roll, we're gonna have a 5060, another wheat penny. Well, I've got another one of those rolls that's a mix of uh, zinc and copper, but you can tell it's from the same person. And I've got a 5060 wheat penny here, and check this out. See King George looking at me. Let's see the date on this bad boy, 1951. And I did see another Canadian edge. Uh, let's check that out. And that's just gonna be a 64. But I'll look through the rest of these and I'll let you guys know if there's anything else good. So the very next roll is going to be another one of those with just a ton of like almost uncirculated uh, copper pennies. So I'm going to take a look through these and see if there's anything special. And if so, I'll bring you guys back. Got another roll from the collection dump here with all copper. And check out this beautiful wheat right here. I love the toning on that one. 57D. Take that for sure. Hopefully there's more in this roll. It's been a few rolls since I've found anything significant. Uh, I have had a few rolls of copper, but I figured I'd uh, spare you guys those. Uh, I'm sure you've seen enough regular copper pennies at this point. But we do have another wheat here. This one is a 1942. In the very next roll, we are going to have two wheats pretty close to each other. This one is a 55D, and you can barely see that one sticking out. That's going to be a 39, another 30s. Awesome. Just gonna go through this real quick while we're here, just make sure we have nothing else good. I do you see a Canadian? That's just gonna be an 80. Oh, there's another wheat right there. 51. I would say I have over uh, 10 wheat pennies, not counting the one full roll of wheat pennies so far. So I might get 100 this hunt, who knows? That would be crazy. Got another one of those rolls, you know, it's not entirely copper, but I know it's from the same person. And I got a 51D wheat penny right here. I'll let you guys know if there's any more in here.
Well, in the very next roll, I've got a 55D. It looks like I'm averaging at least one wheat penny a roll in these, uh, these kind of rolls right here. So we'll take that and I will let you guys know if I have any more in here. And not much later in the same roll, we are gonna have another one. This one's a 52. That's amazing. Got another wheat penny here. This one is a 57D. We're gonna have another older Canadian on the next roll here, 1954. And we're gonna have a young head, Elizabeth. It's been a while without any finds, but we are gonna have another wheat here, 1944. So this roll looks like it's gonna have a couple wheats. One of them fell out of the pile here. This one is going to be a 51D. And let's take a look at this one. It's looking a little bit older, hopefully 30s. Uh, it's a 51D, just has some tarnish and wear on it. But another two wheat pennies. We gotta be getting close to like 75 now. Oh my God, guys, I cannot believe it. I finally found an Indian head penny. Oh my Lord, I've been so excited to find one of these. They don't have a ton of value. This coin's probably worth a buck, but this is such a hard find in circulation. I am so, so happy to get that off my bucket list, guys. You have no idea. That is amazing. Let's get a closer look at it for you guys. It's pretty worn. You can't really see much of Liberty, but I'm not going to complain. I am amazed that I finally got one. Even in a collection dump, I did not see it coming. That's crazy. Got another wheat sun on the next roll. Let's see what we have here. It's going to be a 50D. Got the last roll opened here, and it's going to be all early 60s coppers in really nice condition. So I would have liked to end on some wheats, but man, that is beautiful. Can't complain about that. That's going to do it for this uh, collection dump of pennies, and I am pretty amazed with what I was able to find. So I ended up getting quite a few rolls of entirely copper pennies, and I need to go back and uh, scope all of these for DDOs, RPMs, all that kind of stuff. Um, that's going to take me a while, so I may do that for a future video because I do have uh, a lot more coins to look through right now. Um, but I did end up with 71 total wheat cents. Uh, these are going to be the ones I found in the regular rolls, just like one to three in every roll, just about. Um, and then I got that full roll right there. Uh, this was entirely wheat pennies, and we did have quite a few older ones. Uh, this one's a 1920. I know we had a 1918 in there. Uh, a few 20s and 30s uh, wheat cents in there. And I kind of gave up on this after I started finding like a bunch of wheat pennies and a bunch of nice red uh, 60s pennies. But these are some of the nicer ones I pulled out initially. Um, and then over here, I've got 72s to scope for DDOs and I got some 60Ds to scope for RPMs, but I am gonna have to scope uh, the majority of these for RPMs, I think. But I can't complain, that is one great hunt. Uh, I've never found anywhere close to this many wheat pennies in one go. But let's look at our best find right here, 1907 Indian head penny. It's got a little scratch on the face, so that's pretty upsetting, but still that is one great coin to find in circulation. They are not common whatsoever. I've looked through hundreds of dollars worth of pennies and I've never come across one of these, so I'm very happy with that. And a couple Canadians as well. I had the 51 kg and then I had a 54 young head Queen Elizabeth. So man, 71 wheat pennies. That is, that's crazy guys. I mean, I, I was working on getting like one full roll of wheat pennies from the bags I've been searching and we got like one and a half from this hunt almost. So that was amazing. Uh, so stay tuned. I got more coins I'm going to be hunting today, so I should have another video out soon, assuming I get any decent finds. And thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video.